What's up guys? Welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. A little bit of a different video for you today. Today is the day that I get my broadband upgraded to fibre to the premises. So I'm going to be upgrading from a fibre to the cabinet connection, which would be 80 meg down and 20 up, to gigabit down and 115 meg up. So yeah, big upgrade. And uh, I just thought I would do a little video and sort of document down my network setup here in case you are maybe interested in that kind of thing. So yeah, let's get into it. So as I may have mentioned in previous videos, I work in IT, so my network may not be your run of the mill network that most people would have, you know, just a broadband router and a bit of Wi-Fi. So yeah, let's sort of break it down. I mean, in the kitchen, I have a TV here, which is hardwired into my network. So I have a network then, which is quite well put together uh, if i'm being honest and i'll sort of, i'll show you what i have here my main broadband line comes in here so i have fiber to the cabinet which is a 80 meg down 20 meg up so my connection comes into here and then into my cabinet here i have my network switch i have my firewall here and then i also have a data point stem which i have put in around the house so that I can have better network connectivity. So the likes of access points or additional switches, things I got there. So yeah, that's sort of the ins and outs of my network. And there's one of my access points. So in essence, all of my network points come back to my main source, which is where my firewall is. And then they route out to other places within the house. So with this being a slightly older house, um, I have to, I've had to sort of do it this way. It's not the best way to do network cabling, but when you get lemons, you make lemonade. And it was the best sort of options I had for the house that I'm in. So again, I have a network point that goes into this corner, which then powers a switch, which is then supplies my network to my TV and my other bits and pieces here in the living room. Then I have other access points upstairs and then data points in the roof space as well. So that all of my uh, network points within the house terminate back to that cabinet, which is where my firewall sits and all my main comms. So it's a, not the best solution, but it, you know, with uh, an older type of house, it's sometimes it's harder to run network cabling. So I will say, top tip, if you're building a new house or if you're going to buy a new house in a new housing development, please invest and get it proper network cabling in your house uh, you will thank me later for it. it is the way to go there's it's the only way to fly i'll actually take you outside and show you what way i've done it here in my house to see if that maybe helps you guys out so let's check it out and so this part of the video takes me outside so if you come to the come to my house you will see i have a couple of extra bits of conduit that sort of run up into my roof space so i've had a couple of people ask me what's that for well I'll tell you. So if we go around here and you'll notice here at the side of my house, my main gable wall, I have another bit of conduit here, which leads up again into my roof space. What I have is this, these bits of conduit that runs cables up into my roof space, which are terminated then into other network points, which then allow me to get connectivity upstairs as well as other parts of the house. Everything terminates back to one place, keeps it simple. Now, it's not ideal. It's not the way I would like to do it. Realistically, it's not the best way to do it. I, in my honest opinion, I would have preferred to have run everything up into a cabinet in the roof space and terminated it to one single point of failure. However, with slightly older houses, sometimes running cable just isn't as simple as that. And you have to maybe do it the way I've done it and run it from a couple of different locations. Lemonade out of lemons, to be honest, it's the best of a bad situation. So that's just the way I've managed to do it. And then the good thing about that then will be, that will give me additional network points throughout the house. So if I want to put in CCTV and put in PoE cameras and things like that there, well then I future-proof myself for that. So again, like I say, if you're building a new house or if you're buying a new house, in a new build development, please, please, please speak to your builders and get proper network cable and put into your house. You will thank me later for it. It is an absolute godsend. Then I have another bit of conduit, which is armored, which runs under the ground and into here. And into here is my garage slash office. So uh, if you've noticed on my videos previously, I did a conversion video back in the day when I converted my garage into my working space which is pretty cool so if we go inside this is the home of michael's tech talk as you can see then i have more conduit up here which then runs in my cable feed to another data point for another access point and then i have another feed that runs all the way along here along the roof to here 
to which is what my is my other sort of com cabinet which then i have my own data switch here which then supplies my local network in here for the likes of my uh my nas drive for my media server for the likes of my tv for my computer my docking station everything all my networking needs all in one place so my network setup is slightly different to your average just plug a router in and away you go but i just thought i'd give you guys a bit of background so if you're interested in this type of thing let me know in the comments down below yeah hi bear what are you up to you up to no good yeah so if you're interested leave me a, leave me a comment down below and uh, if you want to see more videos like this i'll do more videos just like this so let me know so update uh here we are on the day of my install uh my install slot was to be between 8 a.m and 1 p.m and it is now 10 past two no sign of the open reach engineer so i called plusnet who's my isp and i will say top marks Guys, uh, if you are considering broadband, plus now, I can't fault those guys at all. Uh, customer service is always first class. You know, you call through straight away, you're speaking to somebody and you're getting good proper information. So they've told me that the engineer has been delayed on another job. He'll be here by about 2.30. So happy days, we're getting there. Once those guys come and get their bit done, then I can sort of discuss my integration into my current firewall and my current network. and we'll go from there another thing people ask me is you know why don't you just run the cable in inside your house and i'll tell you why our house is a three bed semi so if you notice you can actually see uh, the outline of the joists in our ceiling right every house is different and it just so happens where i needed to run cables to and from i didn't have the capabilities to do it so if i were to run cables directly from this cab here all the way up to go upstairs I actually didn't have anything physically there where I could feed the cables through. It was just solid joists all the way up. So that would mean then I would have to go and lift floorboards and all that sort of stuff. And that was just an undertaking that I didn't really want to do. Again, it made more sense rather than to go up, rather than to go up and across and up and sideways and this, that and the other, all these different directions. It made more sense just to go out through that wall and go up and in. Some people sort of say the conduit on the side of the house isn't really the nicest looking thing to be truthfully honest i don't really care a function of reform it's doing a job don't really care hope i answers that question just in case you were wondering and they're finally here Woo! so there we go fibers being pulled in there through the duct into there where the phone line comes in using the phone line as a pull pretty sweet open reach have just been and installed my fiber which is there we're all singing, all dancing, and we're connected up to the Plusnet hub. So everything is all tickety-boo. I've hardwired into my laptop, and we have internet connectivity. So let's just do a speed test. Yes. That's certainly better than the 80 meg I had before. So it's a gigabit circuit, so you, it, the speed will sort of fluctuate and, and settle and things like that there so um it will go through all the motions but that looks to be pretty good and around 100 up as well yep awesome so the trick now is obviously i am not going to use this plus net hub so what i need to do now is hook my internet into my firewall here and get everything all set up because obviously with it being plugged into the hub that's not connected to my network so nothing in my network is obviously going to be working at the moment as you can see my phillips hue bridge is flashing here at the moment like a good one and uh, i've got no connectivity on my wi-fi at the moment so i'll just you need to get that all switched over and configured that's us now all plumbed into my drytech firewall here they had to do a bit of tweaking on the wan settings but that's it all up and running and configured internet is working however we do have a slight issue my drytech firewall is a few years old now so it has a throughput limitation even though the speed coming in is uh 900 meg it there is a limitation and it's only allowing downloads of about 300 meg ish so that sort of sucks because i'm gonna have to change my router but the upload is over 100 meg which is bang on that's really what i need and to be honest the reason for my upgrade was for the upload anyway for you guys so i can upload my content quicker so it's not the end of the world but i'll get a new router and we'll get it sorted but in the meantime we're all up and running and we're all tickety boo apple tv is hooked into my main network so we're just going to the speed test app um we'll just do uh, another speed test and there we go so yeah speed test is up and around it won't go over 400 meg 
which is again like I said it's a limitation of my router it's not a limitation of the broadband so I'll need to get a router replacement but as you can see load is where it needs to be so it's up in around 100 meg so uh, yeah been a couple of days since my broadband has been installed so as I said previously my older version of my Drytech router is limited to 300 megabytes for a throughput which is a bit rubbish so I've upgraded to a new model and this will allow me to get it has a throughput of 950 meg so that should cover me and i went for the non-wi-fi version because i don't need wi-fi because i have a mesh uh, wi-fi solution here so i've got three of these access points throughout the house and my office out here so i'm well covered for wi-fi so i don't need to worry about that so uh yeah i'm gonna go and get this configured match it up with the current config of my current router and then we'll get it swapped out now I'm ready to swap out my router with my new version. Good thing about this here is with the Draytech, they give you this sort of layout so you can uh, wall mount your Draytech, which is pretty cool. So have it all wall mounted here. So all I need to do is literally just swap these cables over. Um, Bob your angle. And there we go. That's it. So the red one then is the fiber link coming into the firewall. And then there's my link up to my network switch here, my PoE switch. And then I have another link up for my Philips Hue bridge here as well. So yeah, that's us all tickety-boo. I'll just do a wee bit of cable tidying here. Luckily enough, I have the speed test app on my Apple TV. Let's double check. I've got speed test app on my Apple TV, so I can do a speed test now. I'm hardwired into my network, which is good as well. So let's see what she'll get. <laughs> Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, so now with the new router installed, I've removed the bottleneck, which was restricted me by two-thirds, you know, which is a hell of a lot. You know, so from 300 meg, now up to full connection speed. Over 900 down and 100 up. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff. And there we go. So that's my new router in and I'm now getting full advantage of my gig speeds. So getting over 900 down and around 100 up, which is perfect. So um, my first couple of projects that I've uploaded have been so fast at uploading and it's been what I've really lacked for the past while. So happy days. Nice big upgrade. So hope you liked the video, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll try and do more of this, of this sort of stuff. For you guys and uh, as always if you could do those three things for me hit the like button for me and smash that subscribe button and ring that little bell if you want to be notified of new videos just like this until the next one guys i'm gonna go and get downloading and i'll catch you later